Hello folks and welcome back to a very bright midwinter's day here in Songs of Six. It is indeed, uh, what was it? If I could have my cursor, thank you. Uh, day three of winter, year three of the first age. Uh, 12 degrees and 84% humidity. Nice. Um, yeah, let's get into doing some more stuff. I didn't really see anything as to what I should do here, so I'm gonna probably... Uh, I think, you know, there actually was some conversation on a previous episode about having one big food source is sometimes just good and efficient. And maybe, yeah, maybe that will be the case. So, uh, what is it we have here? We have vegetables. Maybe we should just make one big vegetable farm here. Um, leave the... Leave the orchard for later because it is going to take a while to produce. Uh, and go from there. So that's... That's one of the things. Before I get too far into that, I just want to say thank you very much, folks, for all your subscribes and support for the channel. Uh, we just hit a thousand as of uh, just today, and uh, that means I'll I'll be able to monetize the channel with uh, YouTube ad revenue. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a process figuring that out and how much how many ads YouTube's going to want to show, and uh, if mid roll ads. Um, turn it to be too annoying, which I feel like they might, then we'll just stick to the pre-roll, post-roll, whatever, and uh, accept the income as it comes. But really, it's just about allowing me to um, have a little more financial security. I do this uh, because I enjoy it, but also because I would like it to provide a, a part-time income for me in time. So with that, uh, if you don't watch ads, great power to you. I don't usually <laughs> as well. So um so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I definitely don't want ads to distract too much from the content. It's just the the reality we live in. Welcome to late stage capitalism, and the gig economy. I guess. Anyways, we're just cruising along. Time here. We have we're uh, four days of food. We're kind of just floating at the cusp there, and we do have a fair bit of bread in stock still. Do we have grain? No, we're at a grain again. Uh, it might be worth another trade for grain. Just for the time being, I feel a little anxious about our food stocks. Um, so let's go for a trade. We will offer more wood. Uh, how about like 50? That That's going to get us like a thousand monies. How much money do we have anyways? I don't... That's not us. That's 1.9 million. Uh, we have 3.17k. That's not bad. Okay. Okay. Let's get... Um... Where's that grain? Here it is. So, we would have to offer some money. You know what? Maybe some vegetables as well. Oh, uh, veggies is kind of expensive. So, I think I'm going to say no to the veggies and hopefully we have enough to plant with. We'll go with 140 grain. Let's um, add some monies here. Ooh. It's, yeah, it's a little slow in the uptick, but here we go. Sure, 330 monies on top of 50 wood to get us 140 grain. There we go. And it'll take, uh, I imagine, a season anyways to get that in. But we will see how our stockpiles are coming along here. I'm interested in how much furniture we have. We have 15 in stock. We could, say, make a bench here or there. Let's activate a couple of benches. And maybe activate this guy again and get the the furniture going in there. Still needs six, oh, 42, still needs 42. 62 in total. We do have 12 fishermen working away. It's producing 12 fish a day. Which is not bad, but what, what kind of percentage of our... Yeah. We're not making a lot of food here. Let's go ahead and double that to 24. Seeing as we have so many odd jobbers. 
And I like Jihondo's comment about maybe setting up some mines for these, just a small production, uh, putting a, an odd jobber or two, assign, well, a couple, assigning a couple workers, reducing the odd jobbers, and just letting them pick away and put that stuff into storage, and then eventually we'll have something to do with it. Um, we're not even going to have ore in there for a while. So I think that's going to come soon. But for now, let us make a massive vegetable farm. And I choose vegetables only because we're going to be covering some of the forage area. Which, uh, which will reduce the amount of vegetables we bring in until we do uh, this. It's going to require 203 veg to get set up. Overall fertility, 77%. I think that's fine. 21 farmers is certainly a lot, but let's let's go. Let's do it. We're thinking long-term food strategy here. And hopefully it's a big brain play, not a no-brain play. But look at the odd jobbers at work. It's going to take a while to set this up, but what better time than the middle of winter, right? Reminds me, I, I haven't looked at these guys in a while. We can max out these guys, and when they're not working, I'm told they will be odd jobbers, so we'll give them the full six. And, uh, that puts us down to 12 odd jobbers, but that's fine. So when they finish up their work, they'll go off and do other things, I'm hoping. Things like this. And, uh, it could just be... We could get rid of the fruit farm, the vegetable farm. I don't know. We'll see. What was the fertility like under there? I don't even remember. It was not amazing. So maybe we go along and we make a really fertile farm over there. Let's, uh, let's, let's expand it, the grid. Again, we go from inside or outside corner, goes across. 51 51 and that should link up perfectly like so we can suspend those we might as well just draw it out right Uh, this is always the fun part, because it's like, okay, which is which, and what needs to come up, and what needs to not. Um. I don't think I'll bother just drawing in the rest. We don't really need it to continue with the grid. Let's just keep it trucking. So, over here... 51... 51 and double check that is 51 so that's beautiful so beautiful it's a grid it's not that beautiful but it sure is symmetrical and I like symmetry as we know It's like the braces I never had. Alright, and as I said, I'll just sort out the rest of this later. What does that look like? Maybe one more. 51. 51. Connects right up. It's lovely. go okay get our suspend jobs thing on and now let's this this looks both of them pretty fertile yeah 
yeah, that's going to be two major agricultural districts in the future. Um, yeah, for sure. What am I hearing? We have people doing things out here. Who knows? No, they're working here. Cutting down all the trees is going to take some time. All right, food here. Did we have... We had the grain come in, so that's good. We're making bread. Yeah, production rate is up to 72 over 65. And how many people want to join? Another 21 people. Um, I think we'll take another 11. That brings us to our full complement of 120. That's all of our houses full. A slaver has arrived and is offering his goods. Would you like to make a purchase or a sale? He will stay for four days to await your payments. I can only imagine selling our people is gonna make is gonna make our people very unhappy, and it turns out we can't seem to do that. I'm okay with that. I was just curious to see what they sold for. Uh, by the looks at it of it, not much. So no, no thank you, slaver. Be gone. And now I'm immediately worried about the safety of our people. So we should look at, what, a training ground? Hmm, maybe. Okay, I tell you what, this zone here, it's kind of a weird zone. Um, 51, so... 25 No, it's it's here. Just suspend that stuff, it's fine. Uh I always forget I can just control click. I'm going to split this area into just like so. And double check, 26 from there. 26 from there. So we have two, two equal areas, and one of them will be dedicated to... Well, we'll probably split it into quads. Quadrants. Road already exists here. Yeah, thanks. This becomes the midway point. And I think we'll put a training grounds in. Maybe next to the housing. I've never built one of these. This will be the first time. So we're going to have to come up with some kind of beautiful um, function to it. Oh, yeah. Also, are we going for wood? Yep. That is not symmetrical. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the eighth. And we'll go from there to there. That's... Not quite right. That's better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. It's not, it's not a great. Let me get just the walls, please. Build, nope. Nope, nope. I'm trying to come up with some kind of support pattern that will be easy to maintain. And that just might be it right there. That might be the easiest. Training dummies.
<laughs> Look at the furniture. Oh my god. A capacity of 72 so far. Like, literally, could not fit more into this. Mm. Let's see if that's a lie. We could literally fit more into this. I don't know what I'm saying. It's... Honestly, I find stuff like that weird. I can put it there. I cannot put it at any of those other spots. Okay, so I would rather not do any of those. 108 furniture, though. Dear Lord. Thirty six furniture, much more manageable. Still a lot. Hundred and twenty wood, twenty four stone. Oh, yeah, and of course, you need doors. So Isolation is still looking good. It's come down to 95, 92, 89. I'm okay with that. It's it's gonna let a little bit of like sound pollution out, but it's not that bad. All right, there's a training ground. We can start putting some odd jobbers into training. Get it done. Also, how are you doing? You're at 36. We're gonna sus we're gonna suspend that one again. We'll put the furniture into the training ground. It's gonna take a while. Uh, the one thing is the laboratory working. It is. We have 12 scientists working away. We have some knowledge. Uh, so let's have a look. At where on earth is this stuff? It's right here. Click this. Click technology. And we have 362 available. Can we upgrade our, say, our carpenters? Paved roads. That sounds intriguing. That would be plumbing. So we could do culvert, water pump, canal, moat, pond, and pool. Also pretty important. But uh, I think just right now I want... Better furniture. Carpentry basics. Your people are demanding furniture for nearly every project that you conceive of. Um, carpentry basics. What has it done for me? What? Carpenters. Current. 0 0.05, what is that? We just get an extra boost per carpenter? A production boost? Carpenter refines. Or this is, oh, a uh, carpenter warhammer, so we can make warhammers. Cudgels, wooden spears, and stone hammers aren't very terrifying, but they're better than nothing. That's, I would agree with that. Carpenter Basics plus one, it costs 400, so we're going to have to wait a while. I was watching a video and it was, it was trying to explain something about tech, the, the science. Um, but I'm not sure I fully understood, like, uh, never mind. I, I'm saying I didn't fully understand what the hell they were talking about. It didn't make a lot of sense to me. I am curious though, can we fit some more into this thing? Can we fit? No, apparently not. I think we maxed out on what we can do in that laboratory. So forget that. But they have to like... <laughs> of course. This is actually what he was talking about. The, the the science was decaying because we didn't have people working in there. Now they're working in there again. And we should be able to go up to a certain level. 
stored 353 I don't understand how this works I really don't so if something costs 400 for instance we may never be able to get it without making more laboratories I'm not 100% sure that's that's the way that works but that's kind of the way it's looking refined taste food stall upgrade one no uh, this is 500 for an increase in production on the farms, which would be nice. Bakery upgrades. Maybe we'll go with the bakery upgrade. Uh, actually, I probably shouldn't have done that. It's not the bakers that are that are slow. It's the it's the grain that is slow. So I think this we're gonna end up reseeding for grain. Maybe we just make a grain farm out of this hole. No, I think I, I think this is going to go the way of the dodo. I don't think that's going to be needed for farming. I think what's more likely... is we... Uh, we carry on these roads and do a couple farms out here where they're going to be much more productive and then uh we'll probably need a warehouse and stuff so that's not gonna happen honestly not gonna happen soon enough we'll need we'll need to expand out we could i guess use half of this area for farming and it would be more productive than here and use the other half for i don't know livestock more livestock we already have half of this waiting for more livestock, though, so... This is still missing livestock. Maybe we should buy some. How are we doing on wood? I bet we're really good on wood. We sure are. We're still cutting lots of it down, and you look at the piles here. Lots and lots. There's like 127 in that pile itself. So let's trade a couple hundred wood for some more stuff. Uh, I guess just with these people, we'll continue to trade because we have the trade rights. So, resource, wood. 80, oh, we can only sell what's in the warehouse. Okay, that's fine. We will take... Holy smokes, man. Livestock is so expensive. Okay, I still kind of want it, though. And... Veggies are still kind of expensive. Grain was less so. Let's continue to bring in some more grain, then. Man. Yeah, uh, now making a, a high-value trade good is starting to sound more and more in line with our needs as opposed to just something to do willy-nilly, right? 7 of 36. I have a feeling we're going to need another warehouse in between these two places. What is this? 20 by 7? If we do 10 by 7... I don't actually know where the midway point is because it's a little confusing. There's 26 there, so 13 there would be a double wide center. Um... I was kind of hoping for a space in between.
Like so, a couple of buildings. Okay, I think that's fine. The isolation doesn't bother me. Why? Why can't that... why? Remove that one, and then we get a door, door, door. Isolation's 87%. Let's call that good. Let's put up a... Do we even have a smithy? No, we... What is this for? Forges tools and stuff. So let's just get the warehouse in, and then we're gonna need, what, a mine? Coal mine. And I'm tempted to forgo the road through here. Like, if we just butt the road up to it... Like so. This is terrible. Why can't I? Yeah, that'll that'll do. Maybe we carry this road through just like the other one. Unnecessary at this moment, though. Just as indeed is this. Um, actually, we could do that much. And then what we'll do is we'll turn coal off from here. We'll put it in the other one. Same with uh, that or the Scythalon or takes my brain a second to process that like every time I read it until it becomes second nature and now coal mine I mean we could sacrifice a few of these tiles in exchange for the road but it is what it is this is yeah, okay, so we're gonna need storage and auxiliaries as well. Auxiliaries. Plus 0.06. Oh. That's plus 0.14. We're gonna need much more space. Okay, first of all, storage. Right there. Auxiliaries. Plus 14. Plus 14, we're at 78. 93. 99, no, we'll make it full 100. And there's a mine. Maybe coal is a uh, worthy export on its own. This is all new to me, so we're going to find out. Hopefully you're enjoying the ride. And we've got 21 odd jobbers. Yeah, this is still a lot of wood. Uh, we have reached 80 on the wood scale again. I think we're going to allow much more wood storage. What else is maxed out, if anything? Bread? Fish? Fish is not, but it's not that far off. How many people are waiting? Seven? Thirteen. Thirteen immigrants waiting? 
133. We'd need more houses. And again, that's what this area is for. Let's go ahead and make that piece of road. Bring those down here. And uh, we need housing. Longhouse. And just like the other block, we're going to leave it. Uh, we're we're going to mirror that that block to the north. So we're going to put in housing just like so. We'll let them get worked on. We got a lot of work to do, in fact. So let's speed things along. We only have two months of food. That's the other problem, of course, is the food. We could do more fish. Is there any room for expansion in the bakery department? There is the bakery department. It's like a grocery store. Well, we can hire two more people in the bakery department, but we're going to need people in shipping to get the, the grain in. Indeed, we are. So, let's deal with shipping. And we're going to send them 100 wood in exchange for as much rain as we can bring in. There, we'll give them a little bit of opinion. <clears throat> a little bit adds up, right? Either that or we're just shortchanging ourselves. I have a feeling that's probably the case. The faction of Berinia has been completely destroyed. I didn't even know this was a thing. Let's not even pay attention to that because that just make me paranoid about our chances of succumbing to the death. Oh. Oh, furniture. Oh, furniture. I think... I think we're going to have to just go ahead and put in... Another large carpenter. I think it's going to be here. Because we just need it to happen. And uh, we may not exactly have the labor, all the labor necessary for it. But let's consider a 9 by 20 or do we just want to go all out? Just leave an alley between these two. And then we want to remove that. Go with the largest. No, I guess. I guess long workbenches. Auxiliary workbenches. How many are we going to need? That gets us to 89%, but still not enough. Oh, I so wish we could... We could, in theory... Sneak one right in there. To get us to 93%. Hold on a second. If we put... Doors there. Oh, I haven't even looked at storage. Hold on a second. Never mind. Storage. <laughs> that maximum amount of this item reached, right. Okay, so we put a little storage there. What do we need? We need four, but it, yeah. There's 100%. We've used the space well. 
It's going to require tons of wood and tons of stone, but we're okay that way. Yep. It's going to be, it's going to be a thing. Let's, um, let's suspend this one for now. That can do its thing. We're going to sus, no, we won't suspend that. That just needs furniture. Meanwhile, the food is coming in. Uh, we have the grain actually arriving as we speak. You can see that going up. Up and then down, and then up. So, we're probably okay for food for a little while now. Add more space for grain. Add another one for bread as well. And let our people work. Let my people work. Uh, in fact, we can bring in more people. As much as this becomes a slippery slope. I'm gonna let them. We're up to 135. Because I want those odd jobbers. I really do. I want to finish cutting this out. We're going to need to build out this district. Uh, I'm hoping the services in here can, can do the job. Service here on the temple looks great. Service percentage here is great. Um, you know, they got a bench. They got wells. They, they got services. They're looking after our people. So I'm, I'm hopeful. It's going to take a little time to flesh out, but this is definitely a worthy industrial expansion. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what that does for us in the future. How many more people want to come in? Just one? Fine. Loyalty is uh, trending down, but that's because we just had all these people come in. So it's going to trend down to 80. I'm okay with that. Access. Yeah, they want more stuff and we just don't have that stuff for them right now um we could say yes you can have wood and that will make them a little happier maybe maybe that way i believe correct me if i'm wrong this also affects our markets right uh that's a food stall that's a food stall this is a market so it has auto employment let's bump that up to two so the service percentage Actually, no, that's load. The load is fine. Quality is 50%, though. But they're, they are getting furniture and other stuff, fish. Livestock? I would rather not sell livestock to them right now. Thank you. Turn off livestock. You can turn on clay. That's fine. Uh, is there anything else we don't want to sell to them? I don't particularly want to sell furniture right now. So we'll turn that off. And um, I'm not sure exactly what that what that does for us. Huh. All right. Knowledge. 882. We've got 147 saved right now. If you have any tips on what we should maybe be doing... With the rest of that research, let me know. Plumbing would be cool. Refined taste, the food stall upgrades. Uh, proper burial, we can make a graveyard. Ooh, actually, I think a stage is, is going to be the way to go. But I'll wait for comments, because alas, we are out of time for today. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Thank you very much for helping us reach 1,000 subs. Uh, I really appreciate it, and I'm um, looking forward to continuing the channel along the same vein. So yeah, stick around. We will have more coming soon. Yeah. Don't know what else to say other than I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day, and goodbye for now.